Since DC is going to reboot Superman, give us a younger version of the character, here's five ways they can give us a better Superman. But before we get into it, if you're a fan of our videos, please like our content and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out and gives us the opportunity of creating more content for you. Let's get started. Number one, let's skip the origin story. With multiple iterations of the character, we've gotten multiple origins portrayed on screen. We all know the backstory on Superman, and to show it once again for another reboot would be a waste of time. We know these heroes and where they come from and can dive right into the story instead of retreading what has come before. Number two, his parents need to be his role models. They need to show how Jonathan and Martha Kent instilled altruism in Clark and taught him to do whatever he can to help people. It always bothered me in Zack Snyder's Man of Steel how Jonathan Kent felt that Clark needed to hide from the world and that this even led to Clark not saving his own father when he had the ability to. This didn't sit well with me because Superman would essentially do everything he could to save others, especially the father who raised him. Richard Donner's Superman handled Jonathan Kent's death far better. Donner's Clark Kent had to face the real struggle of having all the power in the world, but being powerless to save his father from a heart attack. This taught an important lesson along Superman's journey that no matter how powerful you are, some things are simply out of your control. This theme was lacking in Zack Snyder's version of the character, but should be introduced into the reboot alongside a father figure that instills hope and that no matter how dark the world can be, Clark could be a light to the world. Number three, time frame. This movie should be set after Clark graduates college and shows him traveling around the world to find himself and where he fits in the world, rather than have him secluded for years in the Fortress of Solitude. People should shape Clark into Superman. One aspect that never gets much attention is the fact that Superman is a worldly character, one who knows many languages and is also top of his field in journalism. In the movies we see him apply to the Daily Planet as a journalist, but we never see how or why the Daily Planet would even consider him. They should make it clear in the story that Clark graduates with a degree in journalism and show Clark traveling the world, honing his journalistic skills, all while learning further lessons from the world that make him into the Superman we know and love. One of the aspects we see in the comics is that Clark Kent can often do more good as a journalist than what he does as Superman. This would round out the character and explain why Clark wanted to be a journalist to begin with, to help people and advocate for truth and justice. Number four, make Superman work to become Superman. One of the main issues we find with the character of Superman is that he is just too powerful. When you have an overpowered character, it's hard to truly be invested in the stakes of that character. As an audience, it's also hard to relate to a character who doesn't struggle or grow. This leaves a very disappointing arc if the character is all powerful. So what if Clark had to work at honing his powers and needs to continually train physically and mentally in order to become Superman? As we saw in the original comic, Superman could only leap over tall buildings. He couldn't fly, but over the years he eventually was given this power in the comics. What if this character couldn't fly? and had to learn how to, not from the Fortress of Solitude, but maybe from Shaolin monks who he encounters on his worldly trips, and from his training he eventually masters the power of flight. As an audience, we want to see a struggle with our protagonists, and we want to be invested in the journey of our main characters. This idea, while different from the comics, could strengthen the story and our hero's journey to becoming Superman. Number five, most importantly, Superman should never kill. I remember sitting in the theater watching Man of Steel for the first time when Superman snaps Zod's neck. Many of us gasped. While I did enjoy a lot of Man of Steel, having Superman kill was a major mistake. Zack Snyder made a choice with his Superman, and for many of us who have read the comics and love Superman as a character, felt it was a step too far. The next version of Superman should go out of his way to help people and no matter what, never cross the line of killing his opponents. We need a hopeful and morally strong Superman that is true to who the character has been and should always be. We should see a Superman who struggles with all the people he cannot save because there is only one Superman, and the toll of not being able to help everyone should be a major struggle for the character as he tries to live a double life. We should see a person that is barely getting by as a journalist, someone who has all the power in the world but chooses to take the high road, however difficult it might be. Ultimately, he needs to be shown as the example of hope rather than just carrying a symbol of hope on his chest. There you have it, five things that could improve the next version of Superman we see on screen and give us an incredible story and jumping off point for the entire DCU. So what do you think? What changes would you like to see in the next Superman? 
Leave your comments below and let us know your thoughts. Thank you for joining me on this video from us here at Fatherly Phantom. And if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, from our families to yours, have a good one.